With the Allegheny River flowing just behind us in right field, MLB The Show welcomes you to beautiful PNC Park in Pittsburgh, PA for this afternoon edition of Major League Baseball. For Sony's annual baseball series, this would be the last version for which the PlayStation 2 version was the priority. Sure, the PS3 had just come out, but with that huge install base, the most important version was still this version, at least one last time. And as a result, what you have here is arguably the best baseball game ever released for the PS2. It's MLB 07, the show. And this ball is gone. Now a swing by Pujols, and this ball is hit high and deep, and you can forget about it. Now, of course, that's obviously going to depend on your tastes. I mean, if you like old-school arcade sports games like I do, you might have something to say about that whole best PS2 baseball game thing. But if you're just into the MLB games and you want a more realistic experience, this game's really as good as that gets on the PS2. It takes everything that made the 2006 version such a hit and improves it. In fact, if this franchise is now the MVP of baseball video games, this is like its first all-star season. Phillips has got it, and the side is retired. One of my favorite things about this version is the pitching. So every pitcher has a specific selection of pitches, and before every pitch, you pick which one to throw. And what's cool is that that pitch's effectiveness has a lot of different variables. Your pitcher's skill, obviously, but also the game situation. So if you've been missing the plate with your fastball, your pitcher's confidence in that pitch will actually start to drop, which makes it a less effective pitch to throw. So there's a really nice dynamic to pitching in this game. You actually have to approach it like a real baseball game. If you throw one pitch too often, hitters will start to sit on it. Fall behind in the count, hitters will be more selective. It's actually a lot of fun to mix up your pitches and pick the right one for the right situation and then actually throw it well. Because if your timing's wrong and you throw a bad pitch, none of that other stuff matters. Now a ball hit down the line in the air. This has a chance and oh, it's high off the foul pole for a home run. So obviously there's a sense of realism to the pitching. In fact, this game even introduced umpire personalities, which means different umps have different strike zones. Some of them might give you that high fast ball, others might want it lower. So it forces you to change your approach as you're pitching, which is actually pretty cool. So again, I love the pitching in this game, and it really set the tone for the series moving forward. Now hitting, on the other hand, not as much fun. It's actually really hard, so much so that the game added this swing analysis system to tell you why you're missing. I said this in our review of the PS3 version, but if you have to put something in your game that tells people why they're not hitting the baseball, that would seem to indicate that people aren't hitting the baseball, which, you know, kind of the point in a baseball video game. Fortunately, you can turn down the difficulty and just push a button to swing, and it's based on your timing, which I always prefer. Then again, my favorite baseball game is RBI Baseball, so... <laughs> Obviously, with these big annual sports games, it's more about modes than gameplay to an extent. And this version was also important in that respect. It was the introduction of the whole Road to the Show mode. So you can make your own player and go through an entire career from that singular perspective. Obviously, that was another groundbreaking move for this franchise. So you know, a lot of the things that define this series for years started here, which definitely makes it a cool version to have in retrospect. Grounded right back to the box. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Now, of course, in retrospect, these games are kind of hard to talk about because they age so quickly. And playing this game now, it really looks dated. I mean, the gameplay's dated too, but the presentation's even more so. It's the best looking game of its kind on the PS2, but it's still an awfully blurry, awfully unimpressive game to look at from a modern perspective. Same goes for the sound too. And one of the most annoying things about this game is that you don't even get to see your home run sometimes. The camera just cuts to the player trotting to first, which I mean, I, I can't even begin to understand why that decision was made. So it's a solo shot for Jason Bay. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. So, I mean, from a modern perspective, like most older sports games, there's really no reason to have it. I mean, these games are developed in this disposable fashion, where each year's version replaces the year before, makes it pretty much obsolete. So there's that. But for its time, again, this was definitely the apex of realistic baseball games for its generation. If you're looking for a good, realistic baseball game for your PS2, there's none better than MLB 07 The Show. So realistic, Kenny Lofton can run through people. 